Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations given that f of x minus y equals f of x minus f of y. If f of 2 is 5 and what is f of 16? I'll be solving this question in two different ways. So when we consider the solution here and here is method 1. We have the function f of x minus y equals f of x minus f of y. So the f a is a continuous function and if you like we can say it's a differentiable function depends on what we like. But let's assume that here is a continuous function. And we have x and y which are both member of an integer. So let's say I let x to be equals y. Anywhere we see x, uh, we replace it with y, or anywhere we see y, we replace it with x. So if we are going with x, we are going to have f of x minus x equals f of x minus f of x. So with this, we have f of 0 equals f of 0 minus f of 0. And f of 0 minus f of 0, so this shows that our f of 0 equals 0. So we test for y, and you can see text for x as well. So both of them are equals 0. And then, if we test for the oddness, so we test for the first one with x and y, both of them are the same number. Like x is 1, y is 1, and others like that. Again, if we test for the oddness, Suppose we let any of these, if I test for x equals 0, if x equals to 0, therefore we are going to have f of 0 minus y equals f of 0 minus f of y. And here we have f of 0 minus y, this gives us f of minus y equals and also this, f of 0 has been given to be 0 above, then minus f of y. So therefore we have f of minus y equals minus f of y. So this shows that f of y is an odd function. Then let's test for the additivity. So to know the additive of this, we are going to replace y with minus y in equation 1. So when we replace y with minus y in equation 1, we are going to have f of x minus minus y equals f of x minus f of minus y. And then f of x minus times minus that is plus we have f of x plus y equals f of x minus but f of minus y is given as minus f of y so and if you multiply this together we are going to have positive so we have f of x plus y equals f of x plus f of y so this is called Cauchy we call it Cauchy functions so we have it as Cauchy functions so if this is Cauchy functions so we have f of x plus y equals f of x plus f of y then we want to obtain the integer multiple so to get the generalization and uh, we find the f of 16 so to know the integer multiple suppose we have if n is greater than or equals 1 so we divide f of n x to be equals n f of x then we are going to recall from what we are trying to find as f of 16 so to get f of 16 we have f of 16 here and we know that if you have 16 16 is given as 8 multiplied by 2 
So from this above, suppose I let our so if I let n to be equals 8 and I let x to be equals 2. So therefore we are going to replace it here so that we have f of 8 multiplied by 2 equals 8 multiplied by f of 2. But f of 2 is given as 5. So therefore we have 8 multiplied by 5 which equals 40. So therefore, f of 16 equals 40. So this is how to solve this using the FEX method. So it's a fun and an easy functional equations. So let's see how we can solve this in another method. So this method is more of the numerical method of solving this. And this one is an algebraic method of solving it. So let's see how we do that as well. If we consider the second method, so there are two ways to solve this. Either we use uh, this default formula as f of x minus y equals f of x minus f of y. Or we use the Cauchy function that we got, which is f of x plus y equals f of x plus f of y. So I want to apply this. If I want to apply this, it means we will be setting x and y to be of the same number. But if we want to apply f of x minus y, we will be giving one priority. Suppose x is 4, then we are going to change this one to 2. So they will, have, they will having 2, 2 interval. But for this one, they will having the same interval. So the first thing I'm going to do is, let's say I set x to be 2 and y also equals 2. So therefore, we have f of 2 plus 2, that is 4 then equals f of 2 plus f of 2. So then here gives us f of 2 plus f of 2, that is 2 f of 2. So we also derive this formula from the integer multiples. But f of 2 is given as 5, so therefore we have 2 times 5, that is 10. Therefore f of 4 equals 10. Again, if I set x to be equals 4, and uh, y also equals 4. So here we have f of 8 equals 2 multiplied by f of 4. So by multiplying 2 by 10, we are going to have it as 20. And again, if I set x to be equals 8 and uh, y also equals 8, adding this together, we are going to have f of 16 equals 2 multiplied by f of 8. And f of 8 is given as 20. So here we have 2 times 20. So, and this gives us 40. So this is another way of solving this problem. We get the same answer using numerical method and algebraic method. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.